tent right here. Got loose. Hey, my butt.
I got a scar on it, so I need right now. What I need to do? I need to go ahead and flare it. I had to buy this adapter piece because you've got a uh, bubble flare in that block and then you're able to use the double flare here so then we're a flare next thing I got to do is I got to flare that and it's gonna hook right onto that with the union so I got it as close as I can See it come right underneath, right under there. It'll go a little tighter when I get it, just to get it secured. And then I got it bent, so it goes up in there, and then turns left. And then I cut it off so it's, it's really close. And after I get it connected, then I can go ahead and finish up, finish up my bends on my uh, on my tubing. So right now. that and so I wanted to get it cut down I had to cut it down again because of that adapter that I got all right there we go yeah I got the new one all flared ready to go let's get this thing up and get it uh, hooked up inside before my battery goes all right there we are here's your bubble fitting going in the main block here it's unionized right here with uh, your standard standard size. Yeah. Follows pretty much the majority of the, the contour up there. Now I got it zip tied and held for the moment. And there's it going down. Follow along the follow along the old old route. Got a holder right here. And it's sitting in its sitting in a holder right here. And now it's going up. Going up into that dark hole underneath the she's gonna be under the cover here. Going forward. So there we go. Uh, we'll get the get the lines bled. And we'll go from there. Go ahead and fill the fill the reservoir with. Fresh brake fluid. cover on there loosely we're gonna go to the back open up the open up the rear brake line and let that let that flow all right I got the I got that valve open or the yeah a little little petcock open on your uh, on the uh, 
brake caliper and I'm now just waiting for it to feed feed all the way up here and then uh, once this fluid in the once this fluid in the system then uh, you just need an assistant to push on the pedal for you and then you close the pet cock and they take the foot take their foot off the pedal and then you open the pet cock and you do it oh a couple times so you get a steady steady flow of fluid there without any bubbles in it that's going to take a little that's going to take a little while for that to gravity gravity feed this way and I just got called for dinner so that'll be that and unfortunately it's it the new flare which is this one down here now that's the new new side and this is the old going into the new and as you can see my finger is wet so can't have that and that is the line that runs right up here and then goes in the bottom you got two here and it's the bottom bottom B nut going into your block hey Dana here. and welcome to my vlog and today gonna finish that brake system on that Mustang this is the third third try here and unfortunately Instead of just going, lose it. Instead of just doing like I should have, you doing all new. I didn't. I decided I was going to use the old steel. Well, unfortunately, what winds up happening is you don't get good enough um, metal, and unfortunately. Going down further and further from where I started from, it wound up being too short now. So I was going to have to wind up using two, two unions. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to get an adapter going from the bubble flare to the uh, double flare. I'm going to go ahead and I got another <coughs> about 30, 35, 36 inch another steel line. Um, both uh, both ends are uh, double flared, not bubble flared. And I actually just found out that you can actually do your own bubble flare metric metric bubble flare and uh the kid the kid will run you about 30 bucks and then you have to do it yourself so um it's easier to go ahead and get it get it new get it already made up and go from there all right here we are we're gonna get ready to put this thing in these are my little my bends here um they're pretty, pretty, pretty close. Um, I got a little off when I got here, but I'm gonna go straight down. Then I gotta do an angle on that bottom one once I get it inside there and I can get it all lined up. All right. <clears throat> I'll show you what I got. She lined right up, right along that thing, right along the wall. She's up to the, she's right up inside the uh, block up there. Come right over and hooked up. On the back side there, went right in, went right into the holder. And now we're coming down. And now I gotta do a, now I gotta do a, a, uh, an elbow here. And then, that's gonna come right over and uh, 
line up here. So now I just got to do a do a quick elbow, and we will set that on fire. All right, I am finally at that point. I am hooked up to here. I'm under here and in, in their little holders. Which I wound up with a little extra in length. So my B9 is here. What I did is I went out. It's coming down and then I went out. Went out and around and came in. And now I'm right here. So and then we're all going on to, on to the back. And unfortunately, I had to have the u the uh, unions up there. And then going into the master cylinder block. Yeah. All right. Now, let's get some brake fluid in here and uh, do a leak check. Okay. Everything is tight. Have we got any... Any leaks? At this point I got no at this point I got no leaks, everything's tight. And I can play fluid. I've let the uh, back side uh, open up and drain out. So that's it for now. Next this big test is going to be Putting the brake pressure, brake pedal down there and putting some pressure on it. <laughs>